This is News 10 at 6. Today, Michigan's Attorney General announces charges against a Grand Haven man for allegedly stealing Meyer M. Perk's account information. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emrick. The 22-year-old man was arrested after the stolen information was reportedly sold online, affecting hundreds of customers here in Michigan. News 10's Amaya Kuznicki breaks down the charges and explains how you can protect yourself from identity theft. M Perks is used by Meyer customers everywhere. I love M Perks. It, we get so many bonuses and so much money from it. It's like amazing. But what if that money was stolen from you? 22 year old Nicholas Moy is accused of stealing M Perks account information and selling it to other people. One count of conducting a criminal enterprise, a 20 year felony, one count of use of a computer to commit a crime, a 20 year felony and seven counts of identity theft, each five-year felonies. Police traced Moy's account, and when searching his Ottawa County home, they found over $400,000 of cash and cryptocurrency. I didn't even know it could happen. Um, you know, you just put your card in, you put your numbers in, and you know, that would be just crazy if I lost money. Meyer first found out about these thefts when customers brought it to their attention back in April and May of 2023. Uh, the originating breach target uh, in this case was not believed to be Meyer. Nestle added Moy was able to obtain customer information from a separate data breach. Consumers should heed this warning and exercise smart password discipline. In a statement from Meyer stores, they echo the attorney general and stress the importance of not using the same password for multiple platforms. Make sure you keep your identity safe because that's the only thing you have. And you have to protect it. In Lansing, Amaya Kuznicki, News 10. Meyer has reinstated M. Perk's points back to all of those customers who were affected. Turning now to our Thursday night weather, a very cold day across mid-Michigan turning into a pretty cold night. First floor meteorologist Andy Promazano with the Weather Center tells what's ahead this evening. Hello, Andy. Hi, David. Yeah, temperatures never got above freezing and they're headed back down to where they started today. Back